Hello everyone, I'm Dan, and you're at Dan Draw Design. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to do a tribute to Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington was an American singer, songwriter, and actor. He was mostly known for being the lead vocalist and frontman of a band called Linkin Park. Linkin Park released their first studio debut album, Hybrid Theory, in October 24th, 2000. When Hybrid Theory was released, it became an international commercial success. Their first album, what they considered the sound of the millennium. The band capitalized big time on the mainstream success of this album. When I first heard Hybrid Theory, I can remember actually listening to the CD and buying the album. Their music was unusually different compared to the other musicians at the time that were trying to blend different genres of music together to make new sounds. What Linkin Park brought to the table was something rather unique. They were able to create a sound that no one had really heard of before. Sounds that will become anthems for the future. With over 17 years ago that album being released, many fans would argue that they haven't made a better album since the first initial release of Hybrid Theory. As Linkin Park grew, they so did their style. Their style changed and evolved as they took on new genres each album. To me, Linkin Park's music meant a lot to me, especially when I was growing up as a teenager. Me and many others found comfort in the lyrics of Linkin Park and Chester Bennington's amazing vocals. His powerful lyrics and the powerful emotion he portrayed in his music was definitely the sound of the millennium. I strongly believe that Linkin Park and Chester Bennington will become a main influence on many artists and musicians in the future to come. During his time in Linkin Park, Chester also played roles in bands of Stone Temple Pilots and Dead by Sunrise. Chester Bennington also became a dad at the age of 20. It didn't end there. Chester Bennington also had one child adopted, then went on to having one child with his first wife and then three more children with his second wife, making him a proud family man of six. Tragically, at 9am July 20th, 2017, Chester Bennington, housekeeper, discovered his body hanging in his own home in California. The following day, it was announced to the world that Chester Bennington had committed suicide. The world was, and his fans were, divided in how they felt about his passing. Some felt anger, some felt sadness, and some people retaliated. Either way, we lost a, an amazing rock legend with a brilliant voice. Whilst Chester Bennington showed to the world that he was a successful man, a happy man, who loved his work, loved his music, and loved his family, inside, Chester was battling his own demons. At the age of seven, Chester Bennington was sexually abused by an older male friend up until his early teens. At the age of 11, his father, who was a police officer investigating sex crimes, and his mother, who was a nurse, split up. Living in a broken family, at the age of 13, he started dabbling into drugs and quickly moved into harder drugs such as meth, crack, and LSD, sometimes taking 11 hits of LSD and then taking opium for the come down. Chester Bennington, many times in his life, tried controlling his substance abuse and alcoholism. Unfortunately, Chester Bennington kept on relapsing. When Chester was a teenager, he was getting beaten up and forced to do things he didn't want to do. He said, quote, it destroyed my self-confidence. People close to him would call Chester Bennington funny in a juvenile way one minute and deeply sensitive the next. This also portrayed in the music that he sung, being soft and caring one minute to suddenly turning into an angry, sad, and the emotion he put behind his voice. And it wasn't to anyone's surprise that he was diagnosed with depression as a teenager. I'd like to share an interview that was taken with Chester Bennington in February 2017. I think it better explains exactly what was going through his head in his own words, and better understand the daily struggles that he dealt with. I don't know if anybody out there can relate, but like, I have a hard time with life. Sometimes. Right. Sometimes it's great, but a lot of times for me it's really hard. And, um, and no matter how I'm feeling, like, I always find myself like struggling with certain patterns of behavior, I find myself like stuck in like a, in like the same thing that keeps repeating over and over again. And I'm just like, how do I end up, how am I in this? And it's that moment where 
you're in it and then you kind of separate yourself from that situation and you look at it and you see it for what it is and you you're able to then do something about it like you you've now broken out of that that circle that cycle and is it a, is it a uh, are you kind of because the first the first couple of lines on the track make me think that you are like overthinking things in your life is it like a you're it, it could be I mean, I mean honestly like there's so many there's so many circumstances that for me that relate to this situation but like i know that for me when i'm inside myself when i'm in my own head it gets this place right here this this the skull between my ears that is a bad neighborhood and i am <laughs> i should not be in there alone <laughs> i need i can't be in there by myself what are you talking about it's just you just you just got, it's insane crazy, man. it's crazy in here this is a bad place for me to be by myself and so when i'm in that like i get i my whole life gets thrown off like if i'm in there like i don't say nice things to myself like there's another chester in there that's like wants to take me down and so um and i find that it could be whether it's substances or whether it's behavior or whether it's like depressive stuff or whatever it is like if i'm not like actively like doing getting out of myself and and being with other people like being a dad being a husband being a bandmate like being a friend helping someone out like if i'm not if i'm out of myself i'm great if i'm inside all the time i'm i'm horrible i'm a mess and so for me it's like that was kind of where the, i don't like my mind right now stacking up problems that are so unnecessary you know that's where that kind of that was where that came from for me and um and that's but it's the moment where it's like realizing like i drive myself nuts like actually thinking that like all these are real problems like all the stuff that's going on in here is actually just i'm doing this to myself and um regardless of whatever that thing is and so this is that like conscious awareness of that thing and like when you when you can step back and look at something like you're actually elevating yourself consciously like you're 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 enlightened at that point right to a certain degree and so this is that moment of enlightenment where you go, you know, I could do something about this, and by doing it, I can move forward and get unstuck from this, and I can actually be able to, for me, it's like I can live with life on life's terms. Like I can, can experience the whole spectrum of humanity and not want to get out of it, whether it's happiness, sadness, or whatever. Like, I just want to, like, I, when I'm in it, I just want to get out of however I'm feeling, no matter what it is. So when you wrote this song, you were clearly in that bad neighborhood in your brain. Or this time last year, I was a mess, like a total wreck, you know? And like, I think for a lot of people, they think like if you're successful, like all of a sudden, like you get like a green, like you get like some card in the mail that says like, you're gonna be totally satisfied and happy for the rest of your life. It, it doesn't happen like that. Like life for me happens the way it always, it's my, the only difference is I'm in Lincoln Park. Like what goes on inside my head it's always been that it's always been this way for me. So when I'm not working on that, like my life gets messy. And that's kind of the, how the, the inspiration for all these songs came from conversations about life and what was going on as friends, as husbands, as fathers, as, you know, whatever, business partners. Like we were all talking about what was going on in all aspects of our lives at certain times throughout the process of this record. And we realized like, man, we've all gone through like some really crazy stuff and we don't need to find the source of inspiration. Like what's this record about? Like this is our life. You know, the, we always have written about our lives and like that should just be enough. We don't need to find some new thing. Like life is always throwing these like curveballs at you, whether they're good or bad, like it, it just happens. And eventually what I found is, especially with the bad stuff, because that's the stuff that I kind of lean, that's the stuff that, I, that sticks to me a little bit more, coming out at the other side and being like, man, I'm a better person because of that. Or I can, I'm more compassionate because of that. Or, you know, I can understand, I feel like I can understand people or humanity a little bit differently because I've been through some pretty crazy stuff. And that's a positive. So finding the positive in all these things, that's what we always try to do, but we still talk about the feelings we had going through all these different circumstances. The day that Chester Bennington took his own life was also the birthday of his good friend Chris Cornell, lead singer of Soundgarden, 53rd birthday. Chris Cornell also died in a similar situation, committing suicide by hanging only two months prior. 
Chester Bennington looked up to Chris Cornell and became godfather to one of his children and also was accepted into his family as a good friend and a good mate of his. These connections between Chris Cornell and Chester's death have um, sparked a lot of theories and conspiracies in regarding to Chester's death. Unfortunately, the truth is we don't know what Chester was thinking prior to taking his own life. And chances are we may never know. What we do know though is we lost a brilliant artist, a powerful vocalist father of six children, a man that changed the rock industry. Rest in peace, Chester Bennington. You will be missed.